Legal pot sales may come sooner than you thought. The first marijuana retail licenses in Minnesota are probably still at least 18 months away. But in a one-on-one -on -one interview with our Corin Hoggard, Governor Tim Walls acknowledged we could see sales within state boundaries well before January 2025. January 2025 is the target date for the first cannabis retail licenses to go active, leaving a big delay between legal consumption on August 1st and legal sales. I asked Governor Tim Walls if he expected tribal governments to fill the gap. They possibly, yes, and I have toured the facility up in White Earth. It is a world-class operation. They have thought deeply about this. The governor said Minnesota learned a lot from the 22 other states to legalize recreational marijuana for people over the age of 21. And the new Office of Cannabis Management is already up and running. But on the hour as I signed the legislation, the website went live. And so all the background is there. So it is going to just naturally take some time to put it in. But while states like California and Colorado went 14 months between legalization and the first retail sales, Minnesota is expecting to take 18 months. The governor says he doesn't endorse marijuana use and advises his two kids against it. But he thinks tribal governments understand one of the big ideas behind legalization was to eliminate black market marijuana moonshine. The issue here is, is we get some regulation over it. I'm deeply concerned about this stuff that's coming off the streets that's laced with fentanyl or xylazine or whatever it might be. The governor is still considering calling a special session for legislation related to the proposed Fairview Sanford merger, but he's waiting for the leadership change dust to settle at the University of Minnesota. He's been briefed on New York Times reporting about Alina cutting off clinic care to patients with debts. He says Minnesota's health care system is better than most, but this is concerning and his team will, quote, dive into that a little bit more. And lastly, he is endorsing Joe Biden for president in 2024. Corn Hoggard, Fox 9.